Hello friends, uh, this is Achilles Pandey and here I am going to uh, start solving the previous year get uh, questions of communication system as it was in huge demand from the um, uh, get aspirants and um, so I have taken a reference of uh, made easy previous year uh, get question bank and uh, from that book I have started to solve each and every question of the communication system and here I am going to start from the first very first chapter and the question is of uh, 1.1 you can see from here. So the question can be read as in a super heterodyne AM receiver the image channel selectivity is determined by. Okay. So <coughs> AM receiver super heterodyne AM receiver first of all we should understand what is super heterodyne AM receiver. So uh, I have taken that in the second slide about this super heterodyne AM receiver so let us uh, show me you. This is the super heterodyne AM receiver you can see very well. Here you can see this is RF amplifier. This is frequency converter or mixer you can say. Uh, means we have provided some local oscillator frequency FLO from here. And there will be some uh, carrier carrier frequency input uh, from uh, the antenna itself. Okay. So uh, this carrier frequency and this local oscillator frequency will be mixed and uh, at this at this level means frequency converter level and then that will be applied to this IF amplifier okay. This IF amplifier is basically a fixed uh, intermediate frequency level amplifier means at this intermediate frequency uh, this works means uh, it avoids any other frequency apart from this okay. So at this level IF amplifier you can say that only IF frequency FIF frequency is being passed and that is being amplified okay less are not amplified and uh, removed okay next with the detector and so on and so we can uh, receive the signal and speaker as well okay so basically the reason of the heterodyne receiver means uh, using this heterodyne receiver is what there will be so many channels you can say fc1 fc2 so on there will be so many channels um, in am uh, broadcasting and uh, we have to tune this uh, radio to a particular channel means you want to listen this channel fc1 channel so what we will do we will uh, multiply some local oscillator value to it and so that we can get some intermediate frequency at that intermediate frequency fif is fixed okay so we have to uh, change the local oscillator frequency first of all so once the local oscillator frequency is being changed and that is multiplied with this then uh, by uh, mixing these two we get the FIF. So final target is to change each and every input frequency whatever we have to select. The, the selection will be done by this local oscillator and once that is selected that will be converted in this FIF. Overall we can see here that at this stage only we have the selection purpose. And uh, what about this IF amplifier? IF amplifier is like uh, you can say uh, for example, if we have this FC1, this FC2, okay. So FC2 and FC1, both frequency will be present there at antenna, means at antenna will receive both of them, FC1 as well as FC2. Now, FC1 uh, will be again mixed with FLO, of course, and FC2 also will be mixed with FLO, okay. So these both of the uh, both of these will be applied to this intermediate frequency. But intermediate frequency IF amplifier will detect only that which has the uh, means FC1 plus FLO is equals to FIF. Means this type of situation should be there. Now we see uh, what is uh, intermediate frequency and how it is related to this FC and FLO. So most of the time what we used to do what we used to do we used to take the local oscillator frequency fif time more than the uh, input carrier frequency now if there is some other frequency suppose fc dash is there and uh, uh, we have fc dash in, in such a way that this is fc dash minus fif it means after fc dash is equals to flo flo plus fif so what we get from here that either FC dash is applied to this FLO label means local oscillator or this FC is applied to this uh, local oscillator. For both of the cases, for both of the cases, the output may be FIF. One of the output will be FIF. How it, how it is uh, 
uh, how we get this FIF uh, let me show you in some other slide okay okay so here we have suppose uh, there is uh, two input frequency this is FC1 and this is FC2 okay so FC1 added with FL how it will be added first of all this this thing is there so mixer uh, what does the mixer do if we have uh, sorry we, if we have sine 2 pi f c1 t of course and this is multiplied with mixing with multiplied with sine 2 pi f l o t okay now when this will be multiplied sine a into sine b so we will get this type of form sine a into sine b so ultimately we will get like this fc1 plus flo one combination will be there and uh, the other combination will be like fc1 minus flo okay so by using some low pass filter or band pass filter or high pass filter we can detect whatever we desire overall what we uh, we have to concern about that when fc1 or fc2 whatever the carrier frequencies will be there all of them will be multiplied with this FLO means all will be either uh, sum up with this FLO and uh, of, of course subtracted with this FLO means for each and every input frequency we will have both of these outputs applied to the FIF FC1 plus FLO as well as FC1 minus FLO so for the case that we have studied uh, just uh, earlier in the slide that if we take FC as or uh, you can say FLO as FC plus FIF and uh, secondly if we means from here we can get FC equals to FLO minus FIF okay and if there is some uh, other carrier frequency is also present like this FC dash is equals to FLO plus FIF okay so FLO minus FIF is our desire this should be uh, present at the output and this uh, uh, channel we want to listen but unfortunately some FC dash channel is also present there and for that we have this this one okay so either we multiplied FLO with this I mean in this complete signal or we multiply FLO with this complete signal for both of the cases there will be some component uh, having the frequency FIF so now the distortion will be produced we want to listen this channel but we will listen this channel as well so uh, how to avoid this situation this is called deselectivity and how we can deselect it it can be deselected as we have already studied in the previous slides that it can be deselected there so at this level we can deselect it or you can say pre-select or something will be there uh, which will avoid uh, any carrier frequency I mean uh, we will um, uh, the bandwidth of the input are, uh, input stage should be such that should be such that bandwidth of the input RF should be such that it should be less than 2 FIF okay because one uh, one will be if FLO plus FIF another will be FLO minus FIF then only the situation will occur means there if if we avoid uh, two FIF bandwidth if we avoid two FIF bandwidth then that type of carrier will uh, already be selected means FC dash will be already deselected at this stage itself means first stage itself so in that case what will happen only FC will be uh, passed through this uh, RF amplifier stage and then that will be mixed with this local oscillator and then that will be amplified at the amplifier stage IF amplifier stage and uh, passed so on so in this way we can see that um, check the answer so in a super heterodyne AM receiver the image channel this uh, selectivity is determined by image channel and that FC dash and FC, FC, FC dash is the image of this. Okay, and uh, again, some I would like to summarize it that FC is what FC is FLO minus FIF, 
and abscess will uh, occur error uh, means as an error and that is abscess equals to flo plus fif so if we design an rss stage such that the bandwidth is uh, less than 2 fif then in that case this will not be passed through it and we will get it uh, the super heterodynamic receiver will work <coughs> correctly so at the pre selector or rf stage this this stage is used for the selectivity okay so this is the question uh, this is the answer for this question means a okay thank you so much for watching this video and in the next video i will uh, solve 1.2 of made easy first chapter communication system and so on i will uh, try to solve each and every question of the communication in coming uh, videos uh, thank you so much for watching